our donut making class. So I'm Ashleen. And I'm Dutton. And today we're making the dough for our donuts. You can make your dough whenever you want, but you want to make sure you make it before four hours of our class on Wednesdays. So let's get started. Okay, so first you want to get two tablespoons of warm water and you want to put it in a tiny bowl. So, yep. Okay, and one and two. So that's two tablespoons of warm water. And next, you're gonna want two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. We're just gonna sprinkle it on top. So once again, yeah, that was two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, and we just poured it on top of our water. And now we're gonna let this sit for five minutes, and now we're gonna start with our dough. Okay, so next we're gonna use our milk. So you want three fourths a cup of warm milk. I put mine in the microwave for 30 seconds. So you're gonna pour it into your electric mixer. Um, if you don't have an electric mixer, you can use a handheld mixer or you can use a bowl and a whisk. So once again, that was three-fourths a cup of warm milk. And to get mine warm, I just put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Okay, so next, before we start mixing, we're still going to add our sugar and our egg. So we need one-fourth a cup of white sugar. So we're just gonna pour it in our bowl with our mix, I mean with our milk, and then we're gonna mix it with once to put our egg in as well. Okay. So once again, we have three fourths a cup of warm milk and one fourth a cup of white sugar. Next, we're gonna add our one egg, and then we're gonna go ahead and start mixing. So we need one egg. And now we can start mixing. So I'm going to turn my mixer on to medium and I'm just going to let it mix. And once it's mixed, then we can add our shortening and flour. Okay. So I had my milk, sugar, and egg mix for about a minute on medium and now this is what it looks like it's still liquidy and it's really yellow from the egg and next we're gonna add our shortening so you're gonna need two tablespoons of shortening mm -hmm. two tablespoons mm -hmm. okay so let's measure out two tablespoons use your finger a little bit too because it does get st stuck to the um the, the measuring spoons okay and now you're going to need one more tablespoon to get two tablespoons of shortening this is going to help make it more thick once again on medium for about another minute to let it get incorporated again. So then you want to turn it on medium. Yep. Turn it on medium. Mix solid. Okay, so now I let my shortening mix in with my egg, milk, and sugar for about um, one minute. And now I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it looks the same is still like very yellow and stuff okay so now we're gonna go ahead and add our yeast and our water that we had from before so you're just gonna mix it into your electric mixer and you want to make sure you get all of it out um, yep and this um yeast it's gonna have the flour really rise so that's what we use the yeast for okay 
So once again, this was um, our two and a half teaspoons of yeast and two tablespoons of warm water. So now we're gonna mix it on a medium high once again. Okay, so now we let our yeast mix in with our shortening egg um, and our sugar and milk from before. So I let it mix once again about another minute. And now once we add our flour, it'll really get thick, like dough. So we're gonna need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. In a pot! Yep, okay. So let's get one cup. Can you guys add in? So that was one. And second one. Mm -hmm. Two. And three. And now this is three. We're spilling it. And now we need, we still have to add a half a cup. let this mix for about like five minutes so that it gets um, really nice and mixed together and I'm going to mix it on medium high okay so now my dough is looking like this very crumbly so now we're going to add our last one third a cup of milk so this is once again warm milk and I put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds to get it warm so first we're just going to add half like about half of the one third, and then we'll add the rest later. So now we're gonna let it mix again on medium high. Okay, okay so now I'm gonna pour the other half of my one third a cup of milk. Okay, and now we're gonna let it mix for another one to two minutes until it's fully combined on once again medium high. Okay, so now I let my dough mix together for another couple, like two or three minutes after I added my milk in, the rest of half of my milk. So this is what my dough looks like. Dough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a bowl. So first you wanna get some oil and just rub it around the bowl. I would say like, I'm just kind of guessing just until the bowl is kind of covered in oil. So about one to two tablespoons. And next, we're gonna go ahead and pour our dough in this bowl. So this is what we're gonna be using to let it rise. Okay. So my dough is in my bowl. And I'm just gonna make sure it's all out. Okay. So next, you're gonna want like a um, towel to cover it when it rises. Okay, then, good. So we're gonna cover it. And now we're gonna store it in some place that like no air will get in. Like you want to, you can put it in the oven or like the microwave. And you just want to keep it there for about four hours. Then by then it will be like um it will have risen. So then you can store it in an airtight Ziploc bag or container and keep it in the fridge until the day of our baking session on Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, one hour before our session, you want to take it out so the dough gets to room temperature. So now we can go ahead and store this in a warm place. Okay, so now I'm letting my dough rise in my oven for four hours. And once again, guys, that is it for today. So just keep an eye on your dough. And once again, one hour before our session, take it out and we can get started on making our donuts on Wednesday.